Welcome, my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much. I remember this. Remember, in this channel, we talk about the plight of the people, the indigenous tribe in the country from called Nigeria. We will never be silent. We will continue to speak. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how they attack us. We will continue to do what we know how to do. That is what I'm doing. And remember, for the prayer that we are praying with Ashwin Abbas and Nadekan, the prayer is going on. If you have not joined that prayer, it is not yet too late. You can join the prayer. Join the prayer. Prayer along with Ashwin Abbas and Nadekan. The prayer is very important because that is the only medium you can hear truly from our spring Abbas and Nandikam. If you are praying earnestly with him, you cannot be confused. You can see a lot of propaganda, a lot of lie, a lot of confusions flying out there. If you focus and pray along with our spring Abbas and Nandikam, you will not be confused. You will not be confused. You will know exactly his mindset, what he desire, and what he want us to do. For those of us who are praying along, continue praying. You will never relent. Continue praying. The evil will never consume you. Continue praying. You will never be confused. We will surely get what we are asking for very, very soon. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter how they try to suppress us. We will surely succeed. Keep on praying. Pray along as you are about He is also praying for you and I. Remember, he is a prayerful leader. He doesn't do anything without praying. That is why the easiest way to connect to him is by praying. Let us pray along with him. Don't relent. We have to pray. That is the most important thing. Thank you so much. If you have remembered this and continue on this, now we go into the main issue, talking about the situation in the construction corner, Nigeria. We will never stop talking about it. We will never stop talking about it because of the lies they are peddling. The conventional media, as you all know, are in the pocket of the Janjaweed controlled government. You can see what happened to Channel Television. Just for the first time, when Channel Television allowed somebody to come in and say it the way it is, the government was shaking to their roots. They couldn't hold themselves. They summoned the people who made the interview, and the very man that granted the interview, we don't know his fate now. We don't know if they're going to kill him or he's going to survive. But I pray that he survives. Because truth is life. Truth is life. The revelation he's made, he didn't make it by himself. It was Chuko Gadio that pushed him to make that revelation so that people will know what is happening. But the most painful and most surprising thing, after much revelations, after much revelation, the ones that Asun Yaman has been making since 2015 till date, and this latest one I've made, you will still see some people from the southern part of Nigeria, more especially, coming to defend one Nigeria. Coming to defend that which will kill them. You will see somebody will come out and begin to talk about one Nigeria. Talking about stopping insecurity. Talking about election. How can somebody possibly be talking about election in the situation of the country called Nigeria? In a country that has already been handed over to the Fulanese, handed over to be Islamized, everything is in place, and now you want to conduct election based on that Islamization and transition. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? After all the revelation that you have seen, you have seen all their plans, or marked out plans, and they are pursuing it by all means possible. And you are there. Instead of acting to redo everything they have done, you are now empowering them, putting on your own signature by conducting election. That is what it means. If you conduct any election in Nigeria, you are stamping, putting your own stamp on the Florentization and Islamization of Nigeria. That is what it means. As simple as that. That is where we say there will be no election in Biafra land. Every other person can go and endorse them. But Biafrans will never endorse any election again in Biafra land. There will never be an election. We cannot continue to empower those who kill us. We can never continue to empower those whose agenda is only to Islamize the nation and foreignize the nation, to take away our wealth, take away our indigenous land and give to their foreigners. 
we cannot have any vote with such kind of group of people. And no meaningful man in the southern part of Nigeria will go and participate in any election based on what is happening. Based on the information that has been revealed, no meaningful person in the southern part of Nigeria should go to the booth that he wants to vote. The only thing that people have to be calling for now is referendum. That's the only vote that can be conducted in Nigeria. The only vote that I have conducted in Nigeria is referendum. People should go and vote for what they want. They have to go and vote. If they want to continue in this fraudulent one Nigeria, or they want to go their separate ways, let the vote happen. If they decide, if they decide that people should continue on the one Nigeria, if their vote can, if the, the majority carries the vote, so be it. People can remain in one Nigeria. But before anything has to be conducted, that very referendum must have been conducted. Conduct a referendum to know the mindset of the people. If you see anybody preaching about one Nigeria, that person is part of the fluidization and Islamization of Nigeria. He is part of it. That is why I do not listen to people who talk about one Nigeria, even though they have a message inside what they're saying. It is confusion. The only thing you have to ask for now is referendum, a peaceful breakup of this very contraption so that people go their separate ways and build a nation that people can be proud of. Nobody is a proud Nigerian, not even one person. Even those who are pretending to talk about one Nigeria cannot go outside the country and be proud to call themselves a Nigerian. So why would you continue in such kind of a contraption? Why would you continue? You see a lot of this. That is why you see somebody like like, like pastor. There was a pastor that came some time ago to come and talk about forming a revolution or whatever. And you will see deceit in what he's saying because the election is closed. Pastor Bakari, you saw Bakari coming to talk again against Buhari, talking to talk about he's going to make a revolution, he's going to do this and do that. Since then, what have he have he done? What has he done since then? People know him very well that he is talking that in that way because of election. He is still preaching the one Nigeria, telling me that he's going to make... How are you going to mend Nigeria? How is Bakari going to change Nigeria? How? Even if you make him a president, how can he change Nigeria? Based on the constitution that is at hand, a full and man over the dead body will they allow you to remove the constitution that is favoring them and put on that constitution? They are ready to go to war for that. So why don't you break it up peacefully through a referendum? Nobody is talking about that. Nobody is not talking about that. You see Pastor El Buba, coming out to cry every time to talk about what is happening. I can see the zeal in him. I can see the pain in him. But the wrong message he's passing is talking about one Nigeria. Praying for Nigeria. Don't pray for Nigeria. All you have to do is to pray for the breakup of Nigeria. Even though you are in the north, let there be a breakup. You can come and settle in the southern part of Nigeria. It is possible. People are doing it. When they build a caliphate in the north, you are not comfortable with it in the north, you can move to the south. He has a good message, but calling for one Nigeria is what I don't understand. Because there will never be anything like one Nigeria. When this Nigeria, as long as this Nigeria continues to exist, there will never be any peace. There will not be peace. There will continue to be death. And more especially, people in Plateau State will continue to be killed. They will continue to be killed. If there is a referendum, people of Plateau State will have their voice. If they not want to operate their caliphate, they complete their caliphate. Let the people from the, of the, on, 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 the, on Plateau State shift to the south. There will always be accommodation for them in the south. It happened in the past. It can happen again. Mazen Nandekano have made it open during one of his messages. I can remember when he told when he told one of the Reverend, Reverend, Reverend Coca, when Reverend Coca was talking about Nigeria, he told Reverend Coca that if Reverend Coca is afraid of the, what is going to happen to the north after the breakup, let him shift to the southeast. Shift to Biafra land will give him a land, settle him and his family. The same answer is given to everybody that is concerned in the north. Every Christian or other tribe, other indigenous tribe that is concerned in the north. Once it's been breaking up, that portion has been given to the caliphate. If you are not comfortable with it, you come to the other area. See what is happening in Afghanistan today. Afghanistan, even though they are Muslim, you can see that people are running away from that country, shifting to other places. Do you think that those people don't have a place? They have land, they have properties, but they left it and ran away to another place. Looking for safety. Why don't you create that safety for yourself now that you have the time? The only safety zone you can create for yourself, you that is in the northern part of Nigeria, talking about one Nigeria, is to support the breakup of that very contraption called Nigeria. Let the south go their ways. If the south go their separate ways, you can migrate to the south. If you love the circular system, migrate to the south, south and stay in the south. Nobody's going to disturb you. Why must you be supporting evil? Supporting evil because you think that that is the only way to protect yourself. You are not doing yourself any good. 
What is happening in the jaws as you are seeing today will continue to happen. What is happening in Kaduna will continue to happen. And there is no way out. The only way you can have safety is when there is a breakup. When there is a breakup, you can shift and move to the zone where there is a circular system. That is why we are calling for breakup. Break it up to save life. That it is not for it's not out of hate. We are not asking for breakup because of hate. It's not out of hate. Don't misunderstand. It's not out of hate. We are asking for breakup for us to save life. Breaking up that contraption is necessary. It's a child of necessity. Just like Biafra is a child of necessity. When they wanted to wipe us away, what securities have made us to have some people living is Biafra. And we will never stop calling for that Biafra until finally we establish a nation called Biafra. We are peace, we reign. We are everybody will be peaceful and practice whatever they want to practice. That is what we're asking for. Before I go, I want you to listen to the message of Pastor El Boba. Even though his message is wonderful with passion, but anybody that knows him should tell him to begin to ask for breakup. Now, last night I spent all the night in great prayer. My calling is I am a watchman. And I will not hold my peace day or night until Nigeria is made a praise. The blood of no man will be on my head. I'm going to allow you to see a video. But listen. Listen to the breaking news yesterday or this morning. Bandits break into Nigerian Defense Academy. Kill one officer. Kidnap two majors. Lawmakers in Casina that said they were crying. Crying. Remember this were the people when I was raising my cry against these terrorists they are not just bandits this Fulani killer heads men are terrorists not bandits they said to 32 out of 34 local government areas in Casina is under the siege of bandits As I'm talking to you right now, there are over one million IDPs in Benue. Now, this is not about Christian or Muslims. And I want to say this clear. These people that are called the elites, they don't think about you. You see the Muslims and Christian partying together joining flights together the people that are dying are ordinary poor masses i am calling on you you stop posting to me the thousands of posts that is great that is good i want us to mobilize ourselves and bring an end to this wickedness in nigeria nigeria is the greatest nation God has blessed Nigeria with human and with human resources, with capital, whatever you want to talk about. And yet, they were able to get iPod when they wanted. They were able to get Sunday Egoku. Why is it that you cannot go after this killer Fulani headsman? telling us they are unknown con made i will show you this video as of day before yesterday i am not afraid i have been called i have been called through my phones i have been written and threatened listen isa el buba can never die by the hand of any human being i'm not afraid of that Kufulani. Fulani 
it is condemnable what happened on the road in Rukuba Road. The killing of these 22 people. But the fact is, it's condemnable. It's not right. But the question I will ask, why did they go after Fulani, not after us? when you the good Fulani keep quiet you will also become a victim it is time for every Fulani to speak up I am begging the president may the Allah association they arrest Nasu soon soon come they get here now chief of defense staff what are you waiting for again? I listened to some of the soldiers I spoke with that sometimes they want to clear them but they have not received permission. Which permission again? The commander in chief said anyone you see with AK-47 kill him. Why are we going to be negotiating with these people? Malamai Malaman Krista Malaman Musulmai but in the and children who are born us, and kete shes who are born again us, asamfara ajiya, mutane go mashabiar akakode swa chikin us, akaduna, akenan the seventy fifteen or so people were killed. Now, I am saying this because at kili taf mesaki. Bank is also aiki hakanam without sponsorship. There are political leaders that are sponsoring them. I want you to join me. You stop wasting your time on social media on foolish things. Big brother Nigeria and those nonsense. It's time for you to mobilize yourself. Let us pray. Let us pray. You ask me what is the second thing? Number two. Let us protect our communities. You say, how can we do it if we don't have arms? Block your community. No motorcycle should pass through without checking. You saw the flying man arrested in Akwanga with over 200 ammunition on motorcycle. And he said, five others have already reached you. of defense staff you cannot be losing your men you are trying in the war against Boko Haram I congratulate you but it is time for you to leave the city and go into the forest all traditional rulers in Nigeria drive every header in your forest drive them from your forest that forest does not belong to them let's use technology to deal with this man now here, you will see the video. I'm going to show you now. War unto any pastor. War unto any imam that is sitting at ease. Doing as if nothing is going on. Oh God. Oh God. This is the time. We must go around this nation together. It's not about doing those religious practices. We must give an answer. 2021, totally, these wicked men, by the power of the Almighty God, we must deal with them in Nigeria. Judges chapter 9, verse 25. Judges chapter 9, verse 25. The leaders of Shechem rebelled against Abimelech. Look at it now. By putting bandits in the hills. Who rob everyone who travel on the road? 
But Abimelech found out about it. Bandits are sponsored. It didn't start today. But there is a way they are dealt with. And they don't exist again. First Kings chapter 11 verse 24. First Kings chapter 11 verse 24. He gathered men around him. That is a terrorist. And he became the commander of bandits. When David, God Almighty, will raise a generation of David in this nation. When David killed them, they went to Damascus and settled there. Now, what we are doing, they are coming from different countries into Nigeria. We are going to find out where they are in our villages. Oh God, God will give us wisdom on the instruments. That's why I'm encouraging you. Join the movement that I'm championing across the country. The movement for a better Nigeria. Join me, join me. Let's help this government. You can see their crisis in APC and PTP. They don't have your interest. He's back in Akuke. He's back. Kudokayaru and Talaka. Kunjikui, Kui, Babin Gashish. Amagashin, Sui Rawa de Sumene. I am Masukudi, Okuiso Pusa Pusa de Wimba. Chewa law na Nigeria, Adine Kenana Nigeria, when Natalaka, Mother Nasukudi. Now, with pain in my heart, Chief of Army staff, I believe you have all it takes to move your men. I'm not happy with the killing of the officer yesterday and the adoption of two majors in the Defense Academy. Defense Academy! They are gradually coming into the city. They are testing the waters. Christa the Muslim Muhammad to bring an end. Nigeria shall rise again. Now, please, please, I want you to make sure that 100 million Nigerians, you send this message to them. I want you to do it. We must all rise up together. I say to the governor of Plato and the president of Nigeria, all the occupied land, these Fulani headsmen sacked the villagers and occupied their land. It is time to take over those villages back. Justice must be justice. Anybody that wants to rear cow, you should go and ask the villagers to give him a place. But no more open crazy. Power. Yeah, rearing. Whatever you want to rear in your house. If in my state, as a Borno indigent, I cannot go and grab any land anyhow. I must buy it. Then why is it that a particular people in this country are the ones troubling us? 95% of the trouble today are full of heads, man. Watch this video. Just watch them. See them over 200 motorcycles. Where does them? Look at them. This is on the plateau. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Just keep looking. This thing is all over Nigeria now. They are gathering themselves in different forests. They want to take over Nigeria against 2022. But 
that shall not happen at all look at them why do you say unknown turn men at this we will not know why don't you use the tokano why don't you use technology and bomb these people governor erufai that machine is supporting us I'm a shaker and jam it. Yet you pull an in them, pull an in them. Soon as get out and a damn war, I can't catch this. Governor Casina, she may have an aga. Yes, you and Casina, she's not a good at the council. Now look at it. Look at them. Look at them. Look at this number of people. Look at these terrorists. now this is what we will do Ezra chapter 8 verse 31 Ezra chapter 8 verse 31 on the 12th day of the first month we began traveling from Ahava canal to go to Jerusalem the hand of our God was on us I want to declare to every Nigeria the hand of God is upon Nigeria and the Lord delivered us from our enemies and from bandits along the way we will pray but we will not spare fulani nagaskia akwe kristochi the musume the skin and the imani the allah naroko kopita abu nantai isa kode ke inani skozo tai isa if you can deal with IPOP, President Buhari. If you could deal with IPOP, why would you not declare war on these terrorists? Join us in prayer. But not only prayer. Please, everybody, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Number three, we as ordinary Nigerians, must decide that these elites will not rule us again 60 years of bondage must come to an end go to www.ibbnnigeria.org you can go and register there but i decree today i decree today all of the bandits coming from any part of the world the lord curse you the Lord judge you! The Lord judge you! Kumana so na kare de wana magana de pala. Governor ni arewa. We enan emboko hara haram de suche suku bana. De pala kan kuse ke suche kan jama. Don't allow those repentant boko haram to enter the crowd. Keep them in confinement for two years. Deal with the satanic indoctrination. Please don't allow them into the town again. The northern Nigeria must shine. Southern Nigeria must shine. Western Nigeria must shine. God bless you. All of you Nigerians in your numbers here, stand and join the millions of people all over the world and shout it with all your strength. Nigeria must be saved. Say it again, Nigeria must be saved. And I say again, woe to you pastors who are sitting at ease. It is time we join our hands together and move the mountain. I have made up my mind, no dread and cause me to retreat no retreat no surrender until the mission is accomplished god bless you supporting one nigeria is supporting the death of people in plateau state supporting one nigeria is supporting the death of people in Kaduna state the more he continue to talk about one nigeria the more people will continue to die in your area you can see go on go on cannot even speak this is one of the people who destroyed the Biafrans. today he cannot have a landed space in Islam. All those who are talking about one Nigeria has no solution to the insecurity, have no solution to the killings that is happening. 
and there is no solution whatsoever on the planet Earth except disintegration. Once it's been broken up, the interest will be broken up. People will focus on their own zone and develop it. That is what we're asking for and nothing more. That's what we're asking for. Continue to prosper Give him good health, give him strength, give him more revelations so that he can be sending word for us and we can be following the step to get our freedom very, very soon. I can see freedom coming. I can see Mazin Nandikano coming out with the flag of Biafra lifted high very soon. It doesn't matter what they say, it doesn't matter what they do, it doesn't matter what the enemy says out there. He is coming out in full force. Sooner than later. Thank you so much for watching and remember us. Bye bye. See you again on the next video.